bittersweet. I'm just so thankful for all the memories that we have. And it just shows a little bit of his awesomeness, just a little bit of it. Their memories of happier times. My room is infested with aliens. They're infesting my room. Your boy hooked it up. Your yeah, boy did. Oh, so sweet. That is, that is my baby. And I miss everything about him. And he was so ambitious. A million dollars. Oh! He wanted to become an engineer. And that's absolutely what he would have done. Tara Crossland remembers her son especially for his kindness. And I literally have videos of weeks before my baby was killed giving to the homeless. I mean, he just, so full of life. Here you go, sir. Good, and you? How are you? It was all ripped from him because of poor choices. October 1st, 2017. I call him and his phone goes to voicemail, goes to voicemail. 16-year-old Nate Selvis and his girlfriend were hit by a drunk driver who police say was also under the influence of drugs. I get a call not even 20 minutes later from an officer that... <sighs> asked me if I was um, his mother and I said yes. And... Um, he said, I need you to get to the hospital immediately. And I remember we were driving down 385 and I could see the ambulances and the fire trucks and the police cars. So we get there and, um, you know, they take you to the room and, and uh, they let me go into, they still had him in the um, emergency room. They had been working on him and I went in there and I knew right then that my baby was old not for me. But I knew that God already had him. Happy heavenly graduation from all of your family and your mama. So proud of you. This mother's grief has now turned into a mission. Happy heavenly birthday, Nate Dog. Be wise people, don't drink and drive. Tara started the Nate Foundation. It stands for Need Advice Talk Experiences. We have a choice in everything we do in life. I don't have a choice to get my baby back. But I have a choice to wake up every morning and try to make a difference in this world so that nobody experiences this. And the owl is a nonprofit symbol. Wisdom, strength, you know, the, as the wise owl says. Nate, who is a Permian High School student, had an owl tattoo on his chest. In December of 17, I look out across the street in the field in front of my house and it's a completely open field. No trees, just mesquites and, you know, just raw land. And there's an owl just flying back and forth, back. I mean, and he was just screaming from the rooftops like, Mom, I am okay. And this was like not even a month after my baby went to heaven. Tara also talked about forgiveness. I am growing in my faith and I forgive him. <laughs> I forgive him and I know God does too. But the anger and the what ifs and the everything else that comes with grief don't stop just because you forgive, but they do, they do make things a little bit easier. We love you, Nate Dog. He was buried with this cross 
and his charm. And her pain is still evident. By the grace of God, myself and many others are able to tell our stories in hopes to save others' lives. And that is my ultimate goal, is to make sure that no one ever goes through the heartache that we go through every single day.